Welcome back to the series of videos on Helix. Uh, in this one, we're going to be going through the basics of the touch-based navigation and also the customizable scribble strips. Because the foot switches are touch sensitive, it means that I can navigate quicker, I can assign things quicker, and with the customizable scribble strips, it means that I have the ability to name things uh, in Helix uh, by names that I will remember and by names that make sense to me uh, for the functions they're doing at the time, as opposed to something that we decided for you at line six. To learn about the touch sensitivity, you really have to learn how it works first. So you can see the modules that are loaded in this patch already on one of what appears to be two stereo pads. There's actually four, which I'll cover in another video. Uh, but signal flows from left to right, as you would expect. So it starts over here. Uh, and you can move the joystick initially. Uh, use the joystick to move around from block to block. So you can see that the input can be multiple things. At the moment, it's guitar, aux, and variax, but it can be specific. So guitar input only, aux, variax, magnetic pickups and variax, mic preamp, any of the aux returns, SB diff, USB, you get the idea. So we'll go back to multi. So signal flows from left to right, ending off in the other side in uh, the output of that path. So at the moment, that is also multiple. So it's set to quarter inch XLR digital and USB one and two, but it can be specific. And the first choice you make would be this little arrow and you can send the signal down to the next path. So that's what we've done. Now you have another stereo path you can use to uh, add more effects modules to the tone. Now, it would be easier to navigate around if I didn't have to use the joystick. So let's assign these modules to some of the uh, pedals on the surface. These are touch sensitive, so as I hold this foot switch, it says, okay, you wanna assign it? Yep, I do, thank you. Automatically names it by its trim, thank you very much. Let's do the same, move over here, do the amp for no reason. Over here, delay, there we go. Over here, reverb, there we go. And now, I have all the four modules assigned to foot switches. So if you look at these parameters here on the bottom, they will update if I just touch the foot switch. Much faster to get around than try to use the joystick. So uh, it is a fantastic navigation device to be able to assign and to be able to navigate. So if I decide that I've got a sound here and I want to tweak it, I want that trim to be faster, fine. Well, touch the trim and then change the speed. Way faster than using the joystick. Fantastic. So you don't have to use the joystick if you don't want to once things are assigned to a foot switch. And you can even make these custom names, which I actually really like. So if we go to the command center, you can customize it. So let's call it, as opposed to 60s bias trim, let's call it Bill. No reason. There. So now that foot switch is now named Bill. There you have it. Helix is by far the fastest guitar system on the planet to navigate. So check out all the other videos in the series, then go up to line6.com and hit the dealer locator and find a Helix certified dealer near you. Check one out today. Thanks and cheers.